right then there's the keeper's cottage I think it's made some changes I'm sure there was a door at the front once and some bigger windows might not might not have been but it's definitely had a coat of paint It's windier up there today, I expect, so people up there having a picnic. Much windier. Nice view there across the levels there, isn't it? Nice view. So up the rickety rickety pathway we'll come to a junction in a minute and that junction will be we turn left it's not there yet we've got to go all up there yet um after we've gone all the way up there that, there'll be a junction if we turn right we'll go where we did the other day and um through the little bridal path to the roman road or you can go further down and you you do the plantation again You'd be down by those little cottages down the bottom. Right, world events. We've um, Yorkshire are having a bit of a bad time. They've had torrential flooding. Uh, Whaley Bridge up in up in Manchester, that all up round that way near the um, Peak District. You've got. Uh, Whaley Bridge, the bridge is... I've got a feeling the bridge has even collapsed. There's all sorts going on there. There's also a reservoir that they're trying to dam up. But it could go. They've had to evacuate up to 6,000 people. They've been allowed back today in groups, small groups, quarter of an hour each to go and get documents, anything precious, you know, jewellery, um, I suppose, I don't know if they, they might be allowed to take vehicles. I'm not sure if they can get out like that. I don't know if they'll be able to take vehicles. They might be able to, because if you think about it, they might still need to get to work and stuff, even though they're living in temporary accommodation like schools and hotels. Boris Johnson's been up there doing his Winston... Churchill thing I think like a good disaster to unite the country isn't it behind you I think like a good disaster you wonder if it's all been planned you know what I mean he's just got in let's distract the public let's threaten them with a a possible dam collapse but it could happen of course and they, they might let it happen you don't you can't trust any of this lot well they don't care if they kill people they make weapons. They make weapons. What sort of, of 6,000 people to kill? When you're that flipping right wing and Tory. You never hear nothing from a Labour Party. We've got a really... Well, it really needs disbanding and a new party. Something different coming along something good the liberals are gaining headway they always do this they aren't much better than the tories they grouped up with them last time they were the kingmakers turncoats i mean they might possibly side with labor this time so this is sheila's reflective part i sometimes edit out some things I don't destroy it I keep it but the public might not see this bit sometimes I do put it on as well so that's what's happening up there poor Whaley Bridge people um, they, what they want to do they're trying to drain the reservoir taking the water out and putting it in a, a river somewhere it's taken a long time. They might have to drain it completely and then repair the whole of the reservoir wall. 
it'll have to all be done. They can't just, at the moment, they're patching. They're dumping, helicopters are dumping great big special bags of cement that uh, glue up once they hit water. They're putting that in, in a hole that's developed in some of the slabs holding the reservoir up. Um, but I don't really know what will happen. Could be seen as a natural disaster. Right, we're coming up to the junction now. I should be turning off and coming back on again. But I just, I'll just keep on for a minute. We're coming to this junction. Where I was, not yesterday, the day before. After doing a big hike. Right over there, up there. Crooks Peak thing. From Winscombe. And back to Bleeding. I'd done all that. And I came down here. I thought I'd keep that other route for today. So that's what I've done. So that will take you down to the little bridle path further down. That will take you to... Uh, um, where will it take you? Roman Road. Like this. This is the really peaceful, beautiful walk I'm going to do here. It's not on a road. It's on this track for a short period of time. I'm going to turn off for a minute and I'll come back on when I'm in in the field. Bloody flies. Right, so there's the junction point. There's where you go to that windmill hill. I think there's some sort of cafe and all that down there, but there could be a dangerous road as well, um, which I might have negotiated. Um... And I wouldn't want to walk all the way down it. I'd have to, I think I'll have to investigate that before I decide. Because in the past I would have walked up the dangerous road, you know. But I, I don't anymore. I don't, I don't take risks if I can help it. I really don't. I try not to anyway. Now this turns into some sort of river when it's bad weather. You can tell it's like a bed of a stream, isn't it? Yeah, there's all sorts of winding paths. This is what I'm doing now. I'm literally walking around this plantation. Um, I'm literally going to walk right round it and come out the other side because I'm doing it because there's some views of Crook's Peak that I want to do when I'm down here. Yeah, those great big uh, farmer... There's a fly. We're not leave me alone. This particular fly has been driving me nuts. <sighs> Funny I can get one fly follow you for bloody ages, isn't it? See, he's on my camera now. I'll get one of those bloody pesticide wipes out in a minute and whack him with that. Yeah, but the farmer's coming down here with the great big trucks. Um, see, look. Get stuck in that, though. Not good, is it? Yeah, like I said, I'm going to have to get a, go online and have a look thoroughly where the tracks are if I start exploring. I do not want to walk on any dangerous roads. But I do want to do Banwell Wood. I haven't done it yet. I hear there's some sort of church or tower up there. Um, and there's lots of things that they open up certain times of the year. I don't know if it's um, a cave or a mine or something. I need to look that up. I keep meaning to, but years go by. Years go by, yeah. And then you never get round to it. So I just walked all the way down there. It didn't take long, did it? Yeah, it looks a long way. It didn't actually take long. You'd have to have the right vehicle for doing this, otherwise you'd rip your exhaust off coming down here. I've got a feeling I've got to walk up again in a minute. Up and down, up and down. 
and I think there's also a track that leads off through that wood. There's all sorts of pathways around here. All sorts. The Crooks Peak will come into view eventually. Yeah. So somebody owns that bit of wood and they don't like people going on it. But once again there might be dangers up you know they, they should actually put a danger sign up, that's what I always reckon. And those people will venture in there because I'd be curious. Yeah, there's a track that leads around the back there. Definitely. Look at these old bricks forming this. These would be quite old. <laughs> Not ancient, but they would still be quite old. Yeah, I've got a feeling I've been in there. I have been in there. And there's a path that goes up around the back there with beautiful views. I'm not doing it today, but that is a path. This looks a very wild wood, doesn't it? Very unkept. I've roamed across these fields in front of me before now, by the way. Now, if you go down there, that takes you to a bridge across the motorway. You can get to the other side on the way to Banwell. So that is, but it's a long way. It's quite a way, actually, going down there. I've done it and walked back up it. I'm not doing it today. I'm keeping that for a separate mission. I'm t on the turn now, walking around. I'm just literally walking around the plantation. Which I like to do now and again. I like to actually visit the places I've been before. Um, not for... I haven't been here for a while. I can tell I haven't. I can tell I haven't been here for a while. Turn it off again. Right, I just stopped at those little blocks of concrete there to stop cars and motorbikes and that go in there I think, especially cars. So I think there were p people coming out here in those big trucks. I think let's put a stop to that now. As I noticed that myself. Anyway, look, when I just met people on two whacking great horses just gone by and then, and then two lovely friendly p ladies walked by as well and said hi. So people are enjoying this weather and then I came out here don't forget, it wasn't yesterday, but the day before I was on that. That's Crook Peak. Crook's Peak. I stood right on the top after walking from Winscombe for, via a uh, church and hill farm. There's some, just about to make out some people on the top there. That's where I sat and then I came down it. Got a bit lost at one point. Lost my track when I got about there. I ended up starting to go through this, these brambles and it was like a big disaster. Um, I had to go back up and find the the right path, but anyway, that was um, the other day. I did manage it, and now I've come back to take some views. I'm adding this walk on today to the tail end of that Crook Peak walk, because I'm going to be doing a part of a, a walk that I sometimes do back to uphill, but I decided to go down the Roman Road, and uh, so today I'm doing, I did the Hutton Wood, I'm coming around the plantation now deliberately to get these beautiful views of Crook's Peak. And somebody lives out here. What a nice place to live. What a lovely view. Now that up here you've got like the forester's cottages, I think. And if you carry on walking this route, you'll come to another little village called Christon with a really beautiful church inside, honestly. Um, I'm not walking that today. Um, it is a bit of a hike, but it's a beautiful church, and there's a little village called Christon. Yeah. And there's, um, the back, that's the Mendips, the back of the Mendips over there, uh, that I walked along as well walked along all that, I climbed all the way, I came down that hill. 
and Crooks Peak's just behind the bushes there. And up here we've got the cottages. Beautiful little cottages nestled in the hillside here by the plantation. It's the sort of place you could stop if you run out of water. They'd probably give you a drink, you know. There are little places tucked away sometimes. I've had to do it on various walks. Yeah, I just got to go down there. There's a track and go up it. And then we'll be back on the track. The West Mendip Way. Look at this place, though. Is it called again? Lee's Cottage. Lee's Cottage. Yeah. It's been maintained. Look at the grand views you have if you lived here. Look at that. That's Crook's Peak, look. And that cottage there. I'm sure it had another name once. Or maybe it's this one here that I'm thinking of. Yeah, that might be Lee Cottage with a stable door. And then there's another one. Yeah, that's right. There was one right at the bottom that had a different name. Um, oh, what's it called? another beautiful view look these have all been done up by the way since I've first seen them and they look more oldie worldy in the past that's the way you go down if you want to go to Christon where there's a beautiful church Keeper's Cottage that's right yeah they've all been done up they've got a camera on there as well Keeper's Cottage, that's it. Now I climb up this bumpy old track and I'm glad it's not a really hot day today. It does help. It helps my keeping the water level good. I'm going to turn off in a minute and take a picture of the Keeper's Cottage. I'm going to do it now. Well, let me see, there's Crook's Peak, look, I'll just zoom in again over the beautiful bushes, there it is. What I'd done the other day, all that. And then I came up the West Mendip Way and we'll join that in a minute. Over and out.